Boss lady! Boss lady! Yes! I like seeing women make it. I like seeing women doing their thing, okay? Like, I am pro-woman. Hey there, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Oma. Thank you for joining us. If you're new here, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. You guys could have been anywhere, but you're here with me and I appreciate you. So today, I'm going to be reacting to a CNBC Make It video. I think it's their Millennial Money installment and it's titled making a hundred thousand dollars a year in new york city as as an iron worker and i i find this very interesting i love watching cnbc make it because i do believe that if people are making it you have to watch and learn and get inspired i'm not the one i'm not i'm not the type of person i'll be like oh my god this person is making so much money he should she should be punished hell to the no so let us watch and get inspired together and I want to know your thoughts on this video. Lego. Okay, Iron. There will be times where they just want something that costs a dollar, but a dollar was like a stretch. Going Aww. from 15 hours an hour, 8 hours a week to actually having some type of consistency. Yeah. It really changed everything for me. My name is Mimisha Davis. I'm a structural iron worker with local forces. Okay, but girl magic. You better! You see, and that's the great thing about America, though. That is the great thing about America. Like, I don't believe that you necessarily need an education to make so much money. I don't think so. Like, you could take, like, a simple course. Like, I don't... You know what? Let me take that back. I don't think you need a four-year college to make it. Like, for me, I, I went to college. I have a master's degree, but look at me. Like, I, I don't think... I don't... Let's keep watching. So structural structural iron workers create the iron skeletons that are the foundation for large buildings. Yes. I yes. And they are union workers. And the union. Was born and raised in a project. My grandparents raised me. Aww. Aww. I was making absolutely nothing. No. I believe it was fifteen dollars an hour, but it wasn't a guaranteed forty hours. So the funny thing is like when you hear $15 an hour, you're like, oh my god, that's a lot of money But technically it's not a lot of money, especially living in New York City because living in New York City, right? The cost of living is very high And let's say you live in the Bronx the average rent in the Bronx is like maybe 13 to $1,500 and in New York City to be able to rent an apartment by yourself You need to make 40 times the rent and if you don't make 40 times the rent You need a guarantor to that makes 80 th times the rent. What if you don't have family members that make that type of money? How how are you gonna survive that? That is why a lot of people have roommates down to their 30s until they get married and all that like New York is freaking expensive, but it's my favorite city in the world. So No hating the Barclays Center so I know prior to starting iron work, I made maybe 13000 for the year. Aww. Aww. Like as a bartender, like making $15 or $18 an hour, it's not bad because you get tips. Like bartenders, like I'm a bartender. Bartenders, we love, like we don't really count our hourly. Yes, our hourly is coming through, but like if you go to work and you make like, Eighty dollars, you're like, oh my god, I don't have any money. But then we forget that technically we kind of like made like a hundred and sixty dollars that day. Cause when you count your hourly, you know it balances up. But we bartenders are like, no, 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 no. She relied on Medicaid. Oh, <sighs> raising kids on that budget was in New York City. Was painful. Because there will be times where they just want something that costs a dollar. Baby, you better work! Yes, girl! It's just like a look of just disappointment Aww. on their faces. And, you know, you know, being a single mom and trying to provide for your children as best as you can, it, it takes a toll easy. on you daily. Mm -hmm. But you know what? America is great. Like, when people complain about America, I'm like, wow, woo, go and live in another country. Go live in a third world country, like Nigeria, where you're not making a lot of money and there's no way to supplement your income. You need to start a side hustle. That's why, like, when you go to Lagos, like the city I was born in, you see people selling, like, water. They call it pure water. If I find a picture, I'm going to put it on the screen. They call it pure water. You see them selling pure water. Um, during traffic you see them selling snacks during traffic that is how they hustle because there's no one giving you medicaid there's no one giving you food stamp you're your own if you don't if you cannot hustle you die oh that is was definitely 
definitely a life changer. It definitely gave me back my confidence and to say, you know what, the thing is, there are a lot of opportunities out there, but if you don't, if you don't know how to research, if you don't know the right people, you miss out on those opportunities. Who knew about you? Who knew about, like, I'll give you an example. A very good friend of mine, she moved to America from Nigeria. She was working at, in Amazon. She worked as a CNA, cleaning old people's, you know, butt and all that. And then at work, she met this guy that was like, oh, there's this data analyst program that is amazing and it's only about four thousand dollars it's like three months course and after that you can get a very good job she took the leap of faith took the leap of faith and decided to go take that course and after the course it took about two months and she got a job working for a top bank she makes six figures right now and it's remote work six figures like, if she didn't converse with the right people, how would she have known that? That is why, like, we need to change our circle. Like, when we change our circle, we grow. Like, they say your net worth is actually your net worth. Like, when you know the right people, you can get the right information and you grow. Like, I went from I can't to I know I can. You know you can, girl! Yes, I can! Obama! Count me in. Oh, and it's free. Even a trade course. It's expensive, so to get yeah. this type of knowledge for free, I was I was just amazed. Like New York has a lot of opportunities. I like what I mean, New York has a lot of opportunities. I have friends in the LGBTQ community that are on a, a, asylum from different parts of the world, and <sighs> I don't want to get emotional. The school I'm had gonna... taken a toll, and I was and I was like, oh my goodness, is this for me? Because I'm an adrenaline junkie, and I when you walk into the crane shed, you know you see this. Big column, you have these these torch. You're beautiful, girl. You better light it. Oh my god. Okay. Bought it up. Oh, she attended classes for three days for three years. That's amazing. That's amazing. I went from running around making sure that everyone is working, and now there's an apprentice working for me. Ah! Like, boss lady! Wow. Boss lady! Great. Yes! You know, I like seeing women make it. I like seeing women doing their thing, okay? Like, I am pro-woman. I am not a feminist because I don't believe in joining groups or tribes. You know, I'm an individual. But I do like women make it. You better go, girl! Proud of you. Proud of you. Proud of you. And your kids will be inspired and their lives will change forever. Yes! Hey! And our prices make $38 at so just imagine how much auntie is making. Hundred thousand. <laughs> a year. Hundred thousand. Hey, the God is good. To go from thirteen thousand a year to you know a hundred K a year, it is a drastic change. It just is the benefits that I receive from iron work, you know, the health benefits. When I first started iron work, I was probably maybe two months in, and I get a call during my lunch break, and my doctor told me that, you know, I had stage one of cervical cancer. Oh. I remember, like, just breaking down and crying oh. at that moment. Oh, my God. my general God. foreman, my shop steward, my foreman, all these guys were like, whatever you need, we're here for you. This is like a family that I never thought I would have. I finished my last oh, treatment baby girl. with chemo in February of 2018, and I've been cancer-free since. Hallelujah. You know, like, the thing is, like, I know that conservatives don't like the union but the union is amazing yes i'm a future bologna i call myself bologna oma but the union is amazing like i'm in the bartender's union and thank god for the bartender's union if not for the bartender's union they'll be paying me like seven dollars an hour f that would that one have no but with the union i get paid very very well very very well i get health care like, it's amazing. Like, I have, like, better benefits. I have life insurance, even though I had life insurance before I got the job because I do believe in life insurance. I made a video about why you should get life insurance. I'm going to link it up. And I also, like, get better benefits. Job security. Like, the union is amazing. 
if not for the union corporations would like treat their employees like crap and I, I, I am not I am not I, I am not a progressive that will say oh my god oh my god we should not have billionaires billionaires are the devil hell to the no you could get inspired by billionaires and create your own wealth <sighs> Now I have a pension to look forward to when I do retire. They have a, a scholarship fund for my kids. Yes, they do. Not to say yes to everything, because I don't want you to think I spoil my kids. But <laughs> not saying no all the time definitely takes, you know, so much pressure off of my shoulders. Yes, God. Yes, God. Oh, my God, are really cool. You just want that, like, oh, my gosh, yes, I have someone I have to relate to. You know, Excuse me. We don't get that all the time. Like women, you can do it. Women, you can do it. Like we women, we are smart. We can do it. I know that there's there's still a major difference between men and women. Okay, there's still a major difference. Men love things. Women love people. That is why, like um, jobs like this, women may not necessarily want to do it. But if you were earning like thirteen thousand dollars a year in New York City and you have kids and you don't have the funds to start a business or whatever you can do this get into tech get into data analysts you can freaking do this and change your freaking life instead of sitting at home and be like oh my god rich people want me rich people are taking no go out there and do it do it girl i love it that's the fight that we're in right now so people here 100k and they think that oh my gosh you could really live up for that we live in new york city it's comfortable yeah. But, you know, yeah. the demand that we do have on the job, no one would want to do that. I don't care how much true. money you put on that. If you need Very to get true. scared of heights, you won't do it. I'm scared of heights. I wouldn't do it. afraid of missing limbs and fingers or falling, you won't do it. I'm not saying I'm not afraid of falling. I am. Because that's different. But God <laughs> got you, girl. I, you're in my prayers from today onwards. God got you. Sounds like a lot. Like, oh, wow, yeah, like when you hear like a hundred thousand dollars, you're like, oh my god, that's a lot of money. But let's do the math. So in New York City, okay, like the average rent is in the Bronx, let's just say, like I, I haven't looked at the stats, um, really, but let's just say the average rent is fifteen hundred dollars. Okay, to be able to rent an apartment like that, you need to make forty times the rent. That's sixty thousand dollars. So if you're not making sixty thousand dollars, you can't even rent that apartment. And then you think about, you know, and she has two kids. You think about all the things you need to pay. Thank God she's in the union, so she's not really worried about health insurance and all that. But um, yeah, a hundred thousand dollars is not a lot of money. I told my friend that ten million dollars is not a lot of money to me right now. Hundred million dollars is not a lot of money to me right now. And she's like, but Pamela, you only have a hundred dollars in your bank account. I was like, yes, because I'm a future billionaire. Because when I start thinking that a million dollars is too much money, how will I get there? I won't get there. I would not. So I think higher. Do anything. We do a lot for that money. Yeah, it's it's not easy work. It's not easy work. He's a walking boss. He's a walking boss. They're connectors in this picture. Connectors. And she's so beautiful. Mama is so beautiful. A normal day on the job is first me trying to convince myself to. Okay, nose ring. I just noticed her nose ring. I guess to work around like 6, 6 30. So walking up the stairs, that's probably the most tiring part of my day. I can imagine, baby girl. 7 30, we start work. Today, for instance, we it was Wendy today. We have to bring a torch upstairs. We have to cut uh, pieces out so that, like, the plumbers, uh, the steam footers, they can... It's not it. easy work, but one thing I'm, I'm like, like, when you see this, you're like, oh, my God, that's so difficult, but what is easy in life? What is easy in life? Nothing is easy in life. Nothing is easy. You have to put in the work. The problem with people, and I had that issue, but thank God for grace and thank God for growth because I'm growing and I'm becoming a better person and I'm no longer playing the victim. Oh my God, this happened in my childhood. That happened. That's big BS. No, why not? Why not playing the victim anymore? And um, so I told myself to fall in love with the pain because everything comes with pain and we cannot be scared to go through that pain because once you pass through that pain, that is when your life is about to change. But when the pain just shows up and then you back away and then you keep backing away every time you try new things and things change, like how would you get stronger? It's just like going to the gym and lifting weights, okay? The first day, you're like, oh my God, this is painful. But in a month, you're all strong, fit. Like, you feel so good about
about yourself. And the good thing about it is you feel so good about yourself that you accomplish something better. And that's, and that's actually a way to cure depression, okay? Because I do believe that when you're depressed, and I'm, talking, I'm speaking from experience because I suffer from acute depression, and I've noticed that when I'm depressed, I'm depressed because I forget my purpose and I, 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 have, no, I have no reason to live. But then when you realize that, okay, I want to go after this thing. Yes, it's painful, but I'm going to enjoy the pain. I'm going to fall in love with the pain. Sweetie, your life will change. Embrace the pain. Why not? Through certain holes that still have our pieces of steel through it. But there's me and another journeyman. So one of us is burning, one of us have the fire watch. Mm -hmm. As a fire watch, you're standing there making sure nothing catches fire around you. And yeah. fire watching in the cold is... Girl, are you building my dream apartment? Are you building my dream apartment in New York City? Jumping jacks, doing push-ups off the wall. It's just <laughs> That's so home. beautiful, baby girl. The men definitely show respect. Um, even and if they don't, you do have the other guys that will put them in check real quick. And that's that's the thing with working with men. And it's so funny, especially insecure men. When I first started working at my bar, so we were two female bartenders that were hired. One of the girls was working inside the restaurant, and then because I had higher seniority, I picked the out, um, outdoor bar. And I was the only girl behind the bar. And these boys thought that, hey, Jesus, these boys thought that they could like bring me down because I'm a female. Hell to the no, sir. And most of the boys, I was actually working faster than them, even though like I'm like, you know, mm. I was working faster than them. The only boy that worked faster than me was this guy who was kind of kind of like my mentor behind the bar. And I was the youngest in the bar because I was, when I got the job, I was 30. And these boys are in the, the for, their 40s, 50s, and 60s. And I, I was running circles around them. And because of my, my personality, like people gravitate, gravitated towards me and we made money. And the good thing, the good thing about it though is we all split our tips. Well, but like these boys wanted to bully me. I'm like, who is your father? Do you know who I am? At me. He broke, I'm like, hey! I remember working at one Vanderbilt and looking across the way and seeing the Chrysler building. And I'm like, wow. Inspired. Like, making history, like is it me? History. And, you know, there's a lot of guys that I work with, their grandfather, and, like, you know, like their grandfather's been doing it. And I'm like, you're amazing. Like, you were just made for this. But I'm the first one in my family to ever do anything in this field as far as any trade. That's trait. amazing. So, you know, I That's feel like I'm making history of my own. And my kids, I'm, I'm all supportive That's of them, amazing. you know, following my footsteps. But I do want them to make their own choice as to what it is that they want to do. Like, this was an inspiring video for sure. Yes, yeah, she's making money, but I do care about the kids because... When your kids see you making excuses, playing the victim, they learn from that and they don't want to accomplish anything in their lives. When her kids see that mommy is doing this, mommy, her daughter's mommy is doing that, mommy changed our lives, guess what? Their life, those kids are going to be successful. Trust and believe. Let's check in 20 years and let's see where those kids are. Those kids are going to be freaking successful because they see mommy, a single mother changing her life earning money and the sky is the limit that like she's gonna keep growing and keep earning more this was just very inspiring and i hope you were inspired like me well guys i hope you enjoyed this video i'm sorry i'm not gonna apologize for being emotional okay? i'm an emotional person i'm the kind of person that will listen to music and i start bald i'm like why sam smith sam smith why if you like this video please Subscribe, like it, share it with your friends and family and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on videos like this. And let me know down in the comment what videos would you like me to react to. Let me know guys, let me know because I love this. This is fun. I'm learning, you're learning, we're both getting inspired. So let me know down in the comment what you guys think, okay? Until next time, ciao!